Hey guys, in this lesson we will deal with theories of biological evolution that was given by Darwin. That is Darwinism. This is presented by me, Yogita Khandelwal. So in our previous lesson we have dealt with uh, the other theory of biological evolution that was given before uh, Darwin. That was Lamarckism. So here we will dealing with Darwinism. So Darwinism. Darwin traveled in HMS Beagle from eighteen thirty one to thirty six. So he uh, he traveled. Darwin traveled the world. Uh, made a sea voyage in a sail ship that was named as HMS Beagle. So it's uh, very important. Just remember the name by which the Darwin sailed. So it is the name of the ship HMS Beagle from eighteen thirty one to. Thirty six. So he traveled around the world. That is, he traveled South America, South Africa, Australia, and Galapagos Islands. Galapagos Islands are important. Now, influenced by following. So Darwin's theory was influenced by following. So first was an essay on principles of population. That was a book by Malthus. We will uh, deal in detail with this. Second is Principles of Geology, book by Charles Lyell. In this, he uh, explained the origin of different flora and fauna from common ancestor. Then third is Artificial Selection or Anthropogenic Selection. So, firstly, what do you mean by artificial selection? So, when we, uh, when the humans developed some variety by crossing the uh, the selected male parent and female parent whether we say an animal or plant with the desired traits so that we can have a uh, progenies with the particular phenotypic traits that we require thus developing a different variety so that is the artificial selection or anthropogenic selection anthropogenic uh, stands for the is the term used for uh, human by observing artificial selection darwin imbibed concept of natural selection so uh, how we were developing how humans were developing different varieties from uh, uh, via artificial selection so he get, gave the uh, idea of the natural selection or he got the concept of natural selection from the artificial selection Alfred Wallace, a naturalist working on Malay archipelago, came on same conclusion as Darwin. So Alfred Wallace was a naturalist working in Malay archipelago. It is the present day Indonesia. So he came on the same conclusion as Darwin, and together with Darwin, the uh, the theory Wallace Darwin theory is the called as theory of natural selection that will deal in detail in our next lesson. So Darwin himself developed different variety of pigeon from rock pigeon. So this is an example of artificial selection. So here is a rock pigeon, uh, that uh, and he developed these varieties from the rock pigeon that is Jacobin, Fantail, and Pouter. Now similarly, plant breeders also develop uh, different kinds of variety. So here is an example from Brassica oleracea that is common wild and mustard. So from common wild mustard, uh, the plant breeders developed kale, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, Brussels sprout, and kohlrabi. So similarly, based on artificial selection, like ways, uh, the Darwin got the concept of natural selection. Principles of Population by Malthus. That is an essay of Principles of Population, the book written by Malthus. So its sixth edition influenced the theory of Darwin. So what it says: In spite of great reproductive potential in living organisms, size of population remain constant in all living being except seasonal fluctuations. So there is great reproductive potential in living organism, but Still, the population is constant, all uh, in, except some seasonal fluctuations. So, population increase follows geometric progression, while food production follows arithmetic progression. Now, this is the notion to explain these 
geometric and arithmetic progression are used as notions to explain the increase in population of an increase in food production so population is increase uh, the potential of living organisms to reproduce that can increase population very uh, in geometric progression way but food production is very slow that is an arithmetic progression way that's why population size is constant because of limited food supply or we can say limited so resources we have so because of limited resources we have population size constant in spite of great reproductive potential such that a population can increase in geometric progression now darwin based on following proposed his theory he visited chain of volcanic island, islands that is galapagos islands observed different types of finches now known as darwin's finches so darwin observed different variety of beaks of finches and these finches are now known as darwin's finches they all originated from common ancestors so this this different variety of beaks of finches they have all originated from common ancestor observed several fossil forms some of which resembles with living organisms other resembles with their ancestor so uh, he observed uh, that the existing living forms have, have similarities to varying degrees not only among themselves but also to the life forms that existed millions of years ago so many such life forms uh, did not exist any more but we share similarities uh, there had been extinctions of different life forms in a uh, years gone by just as new life forms arose at different periods of history of earth so he observed similarities between present day organism as as well as that existed before so this is a uh, varieties of beaks of finches that are known as darwin's finches key postulates so uh, based on everything so there was the key postulates of darwin's theory which he mentioned in his book origin of species very important extremely important remember the name of the book of darwin that is origin of species so first is branching descent origin of different species from common ancestor so uh, there is origin of species from common ancestor that is known as branching descent and second is natural selection nature select favorable variant which causes speciation so what happens any population has built variation in characteristics now those characters which enable some to survive better in natural conditions like climate food physical etc would outbreed others that are less endowed to survive under such natural conditions and we can also use the term fitness of an individual or population for the natural selection now the fitness is obviously according to the uh, reproductive fitness and uh, those who better fit in an environment live more progeny than others thus they will survive more and hence are selected by nature so we will deal with the whole theory of natural selection collective of darwin and wallace in our next lesson so that's all for this lesson thanks for watching